It's clobbering it down with rain. Whoa, are you all right? Dude, and JD's just stacked it. Stay tuned. Howling it down with rain, so not much filming going on, but we found this place and we're stringing a tarp up to this branch and creating like in a diamond formation and then having our fire underneath. We've got a little backrest there. But I've got to put the camera away. Joey D's just anchoring the, uh, the ridge line down. Prioritising getting some wood dry so that we can have a fire going, so that we can get some food on and uh, get set up before it gets dark, so we're going to do that. There's Joey D, look, look at him, man of the woods. Hey, slad! In a nice dry living room, very shortly. There you go. We're just going to use a cotton wool ball with Vaseline on it. Not even soaked into it, just scooped in, uncouth. It's as simple as that. Luckily Joe was up here in this area not so long back on a little bit of a mission and he stashed some wood and kept it dry. So this is all relatively dry we have fire and that is the start of a fire that will be ticking over for a long time as it's winter and it gets dark early we're we're racking this bad boy up early no messing about thanks to everyone who entered uh, the beer um the beer ideas last time i got some really good ones in did you yeah I shall, um, I shall, let's... What, for the next Patreon? Yeah. Yeah. Have you recovered from your little tumble? You had a bit of a, a bit of a tumble, didn't I you? I did have a tumble, yeah. <laughs> I went down, yeah. Nanny had a bit of a tumbley, didn't you? Press me button. Press your button. I'm down, I'm down. Press your button. Get me out, how do you... Get... <laughs> what is it on the learn where they have to get out? I want, I want out. <laughs> I've had enough. About 10 metres from van. <laughs> right, Daryl West. Call it Absent Friends Whiskey Inspired IPA 7%. I don't like whiskey, you know. I don't like whiskey beer. in a beer because it reminds me of Gold Label from back in Dizzles. Yeah, it gets, it gets and that a bit is that. I don't like that. No. I've put that no needs to exist mate. though. Well, so you're, you're easily. I'm easily laid back. I I like the, do you know what I like the name though? I love the name. Absent I love the name friends. Absent Friends because it's a toasting machine. The toast in it. Yeah. So maybe it names, a, you know. It's a bit morbid though. It's a bit morbid, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> have it in a black can. They call it the funeral. Everyone who <gasps> died. Yeah. Call it the funeral director. <laughs> Morg. Morg. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> coffin. IPA. Something like that. Something more. It's a bit morbid, mate. <laughs> coughing up blood. Call yeah, it. coughing up blood and not yeah, not got long left for this world IPA. <laughs> we best turn off life support. <laughs> it's in absolute agony, Porter. Yeah. <laughs> Nil by mouth, stout. He had a good life. <laughs> yeah. Taken far too young, stout. <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah yeah shall we done before his time stout <laughs> just, just, it's just it's just like a good tombstone with like a real short date on it like nine years or something like that <laughs> oh <laughs> I can't laugh about nine-year-olds, <laughs> Here we go, Matthew Mellier. 
Shout out Matthew Melia. Spiced rum, vanilla and some sort of exotic fruit brewed into an IPA, weighing in at around 6.5%. Can is obviously a John Peeler with some artwork of you free diving a shipwreck called Free Spirits. Interesting. I like wow. That. Yeah, you, he, he really like skied it. Mate, he's... Skyball thinking. He's, um, he's spitball. Yeah, he's brainstormed it. I bet he's done a little drawing as he's well. He's got a PowerPoint presentation in his room. Yeah. He's probably a little bit of digital Matthew, art, your tea's ready! <laughs> I'm busy, Mum! He's like, ah, fucking... He's making little, like, paper mache shipwrecks <laughs> and that. <laughs> nice one. Max, how about original victim, a beautiful milk stout that serves as a... I know where this is going. That serves as a kick in the knob to Matt Morgan and his dairy-free lifestyle. <laughs> Oh, that's funny, because its original victim is something off Matt Morgan's um, old radio show, and he's dairy-free, I think, so... Is he dairy-free? Or just vegan? gluten? No, he's not vegan, no, gluten or dairy-free. How about original victim, a milk stout? I'm not doing that, because that's bullying. That's bullying Matt's dairy uh, intolerance through beer, which is also he can't have, because it's got lactose in a lot of it. And gluten, so you can't have that. And I might flip that and do a gluten-free beer for it for him. I was thinking about doing that, like a vegan, gluten-free, well, non-alcoholic water. <laughs> <laughs> Not really, and shout out Matt if you're watching. And look mate, if you are watching, which I doubt you are, because you're a busy man, I've still got you, I've re-waxed these the other day. And I'm still rocking them. So, much love to you and we'll go camping soon together. Vanilla, cacao and almond imperial stout. We've been stopped by <laughs> uh, Ofcom. <coughs> Ofcom have put a stop to it. Uh, it's a black can, look. Can you see? And it's a black can, which is a rarity. And if you hadn't have said that, mate, I wouldn't have picked up on that. Oh, I like that touch, actually. It's a nice touch, isn't it? Look how camouflaged I am, mate. It's like a face. Are you cold? You want me now? Duncan Ballantyne. Yay! <laughs> Duncan Ballantyne. Dandelion and Beckham. That's not good, is it? He's blacker than can. He's black, look at that. Whoa! Whoa. See, can you see it? Can oh, you? it's hard because I can't tip it. Oh, but you can see the colour of you that You can phone. see it. God, it's like a chestnut brown, oh, isn't it? Oh my, that is like pouring oil. It's like you've melted Darth Vader's nut bag. Look at that. <laughs> that is incredible. Yeah, mate. Cheers, mate. Get it in there. 9% as well, so it's kicking it door, waving 4-4. Four, four. Nice one, brother. Oh, yeah, this is old school, old school shit, this is it. Beer <laughs> this is where, reviews. This are... is the 1990s when we were doing beer reviews. Beer reviews in the 90s. Well, you weren't even leaning in for cheers then, were you? You were just adjusting No, I yourself. wasn't. I was oh, like, doing both. I was just like... Two, two birds, one stone. Uh, and, uh, well, oh. cheers, mate. Nice one. Let's have a go on this. Oh. I mean, the idea of it, for me, is incredible. So well, that, look at that. Uh, uh, yeah. It's been a while since I've seen a foam that dark. It's like, it's like orange almost, yeah. isn't it? Definitely like a rusty chestnut. Let's go. Best of luck to you. Holy mother of you. That is insane. Oh, wow. It's very good, that. I mean, I don't. Beautiful mouthfeel. Highly recommend buying that, like. There you go. Look at that. Hey, if anyone from North. Get yourself North... for Christmas. Yeah, get, get you. yourself a special. Here. If, any, if, any, if anyone from Northern Monk's watching, get me on one of these cans. <laughs> <laughs> Remember all that? Anyone from Northern Monks watching? Anyone from Northern Monks watching? Send me a send me a care package. Get him, yeah. You know get, what I mean? Anyone from Northern Monks watching? Well, I'll send you a it's care like package. Donkey, hey, donkey. Wait work. a minute. This is all a care package. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, ooh, you, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're giving him. This is your care package. Sending him free booze and him sharing it with me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We're living the dream compared to how it used to be, isn't it? Mate, that is that is very good. Anyway, in all seriousness, if anyone from Northern Monk is watching, very well done there. Uh, round of a standing ovation for this. It sounded good, and it, yeah, that that one they pulled off big time. Not finished. It's um, it, it's one I did ages ago. It's not finished, but you get the cherry idea. And it cracked, so you can see the cracks. Yeah. 
So I, f I filled it with the resin, and now I'm, and now I'm carving it back again and right. thin thinning it out a bit more. And epoxy resin, I'd use um, yeah, an birch. epoxy. Yeah. I mean, uh, pine. Yeah, I just use an epoxy. In future, will you use pine pitch? Maybe. I don't know. I'll have a little sip out of it if you don't mind go getting COVID nineteen. Yeah, There's a little uh, symbolic thing. Do you know what? It is nice yeah, out of wood. It's nice out of wood, yeah. Because a, a, a cup like this, it's nice to drink out of, and they're versatile and light, but the feel and the like, the, yeah. the natural element. And is... just how it grows with you, innit, as well. That's I mean, it. those do to an extent. But... Dude, the one that you made me has got like a patina, like on the inside of it, because of all wine yeah. and all booze I've put through it. But yeah, just Look how dark it's down. getting. Can you see on this video? Look how gloomy it's got. Amazing. It's gone well dark. Anyway. Should we sign off? I think we've done enough here, yeah, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. I think our work is done. Let's do some food prep. Hiya. That's the way they And there you are, look. Look at how atmospheric it is. Yeah, we've got a shoulder knuckle of lamb, which we're going to stew down. We're going to put some water. Uh, Joey D's made a little bit of a spice mix there. It's got dried forage wild mushrooms. Garlic, uh, coriander, roasted fennel, um, smoked paprika, Ooh. a bit of salt, a bit of pepper. Yeah. There you go. Smell that, mate. Oh, that smells nice, man. That's like. Yeah. Is there, is there um, yeah, that's that's fennel? The fennel yeah. We've got some fresh rosemary from garden and some fresh thyme from the garden. And then what we'll do is, because there's no room in here for the veggies just yet, but this will all break down, the fat will render. So we'll cook this in a bit of wine, a bit of water, and a bit of coconut milk, uh, and just let that render and stew away for a few hours. And then we're gonna add our veggies, and this is gonna be another banging curry in the woods. absolutely no way that that's going to taste incredible. <laughs> Bit of coconut cream in there, smash all that down. Easy to manoeuvre and stuff. Let's get it in chunks. The longer it cooks, the better. And then we're just gonna roast the lemon and the garlic and just smash that over it at the end. Losing light, but let's have a little look at this knife. Yeah, Joe's made himself a knife. What's the handle made out of? Uh, mulberry. Beautiful, like really dark, golden red wood. And yeah. then it's just a bit of a slice of antler. And then I've just, you know, used, um, standard epoxy just to fix it in took a bit of work getting the chiseling it out so you could get a de you know fit in nicely it was like a, quite a good fit anyway yeah and then yeah it's just a comfortable like feel. carving it does feel good in hands man but you could also you know well, give yourself a bit of standard. Got the sheath fit? put sheath on this was originally meant to be part of like a, a leather you know so this would be the form at the end of a leather sheath you know, maybe I have a dangler on it or something like that. But at the moment it just works to cover it until I get time to make the actual. Lovely stuff and it's creating, it's, oh, I can smell that curry, you've got a whiff of it, <laughs> man, that's nice. <laughs> You're just uh, pissing about with your cook, sir. Yeah. Wonderful, and this is what bushcraft is all about. Hanging out, doing your bits and pieces. Well, tea's on. Doing a bit, waiting for mum to do. Doing a bit, waiting for mum to do. Teen, look up here, look, it's all atmospheric AF. Not been doing much filming because uh, I've just been chilling, but the curry is ready. 
Oh, ho, ho. What's that? Leeks, lamb, yeah. veggies, spices, the lot. That's a lamb just strips into ribbon. Oh, is she? Mm. Beautiful. Mm. It looks and smells fantastic. I'm going to have some curry. Can't film it because I'm just... JD's just engulfed in it, aren't you? It's incredible. It's incredible. It really is. Get carrot. Mm. Get it down. Give. Yes. Mm. Oh, it looks good. It looks good. Mm. It's making my mouth water. There it is. Let's get stuck in. Challenge for the strongest mind when driven round the bend. Face the near impossible when the fog descends. You can place your goodwill in the center of the fire. I'm closed for business today. It falls from the sky and it crushes us to the ground. There I am. Ain't bivy. I'll let you have a proper look tomorrow at setup because it's pretty mad. We're both under this diamond formation. I'm up here on these rocks. Ugh, can you see? Young Joseph, look. There he is. He's next at fire. <laughs> well, there you go. All his gear on him. Next at fire. Wool blanket just protects its sleeping bag. And vital organs. <laughs> and Matt. It's perfect, isn't it? It'd feel nice going to bed there and have been able to oh, look up at. It's out. so comfy, mate. Is it comfy, though? Yeah. <sighs> Luxurious and being able to see out in, into the canopy, especially in the morning. There you are. Unless some mad or trad happens, we'll see you tomorrow. Oh, ciao. Oh, are you saying ciao? Say night. No, night. No, no, night. Take your pills and push the quilt away. Try to figure out what broke the day. A chemical imbalance or just circumstance. Or is it just a part of me by random chance? Answers on a postcard and send them right away. I'm close for business today. It's the morning. Boiling. I was boiling. I had to take my merino wool layer off. The Rab Ascent 900 doing its job. Comfy as you like. No head netter out. Didn't get bothered by bugs, did you? No, nothing at all. Where are you there? Best thing about winter, isn't it? The beauty of winter camping. Oh. Didn't even finish all our beers. That is, ah, oh, great times actually. Good behaviour. That was, we're on good behaviour, you see. Cause it's about connecting with nature, man. Not about getting absolutely off your knocker. Want a beer? Yes, please. Yeah. <laughs> right, let's get up. We've got some chores to do. We've got water to collect, coffee to get on, fire to get on. Let's get up. Right, we've collected some water from, ah, oh, they could say it was a stream, what even is it? Just a trickle of water. Down yonder way. And then, there we are. Just for a little drink, it's a lot easier getting the water in here. These things can often be a bit of a chew getting the water out so from here into there and then we'll filter it oh, mate, don't drink out that don't need cleaning filter of choice the soya the soya micro squeeze
Spicy eggs, spicy scrambled eggs and coffee. Simple but effective. <laughs> is, it, is it really spicy? That's Tubby Tom's for you. Mm, that's a good easy dish, that, isn't it? So quick and easy, yeah. Yeah. Light as well, it's not heavy like bait. We all did on pig meat. I was meat in general. Mmm. Lovely. Well cooked, that's how I like them. Mm. Yeah. Creamy and delicious. Shout out to me Tom. Spicy and delicious. Those are wet leaves. Absolutely no trace. Just a little bit of flattened ground and that is it. There you go. Leave no trace as always. Wonderful campsite under the under the uh, the shadow of this beech tree, huge beech tree. It's a lovely spot. Let's go dunk the junk. Hey! Yes. Oh, that noise. He's, oh. So look at your feet. Show its feet. Hold on. Oh, he's been done. He's been done. <laughs> that is madness. I can't go that way. <laughs> yeah, once you come round, mate, it's not too bad. Once you start, it's like just slow motion like that. <laughs> Very cold, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't new, new pants? No, mate, they're old and need some new ones. Look at yours, ripped and everything. Yeah, <laughs> they're burnt, my burn marks. Disgusting. And... It's not disgusting. <laughs> it is not disgusting. Oh, mate. Oh. Cold, like. Oh, I've got to take the now. <laughs> Unbearable. Unbearable. <sighs> <sighs> oh man. That's the most painful one I've ever had. That was a painful one you've most the most painful you've ever had. That, yeah. was, that was cold like. <laughs> oh. It was like a burn, wasn't it? Yeah. D but it, you can feel it go like a centimetre deep on your skin. You know, like, not yeah. just the surface, it's like, <laughs> all your meat. <laughs> look, how, look how red it makes you. Excuse me, I'm, uh, I'm in a comfortable place at the moment, so. Where I got peppered. That's when I fell over yesterday, I got ripped. Round two. Oh, yeah, it doesn't pain as much, that's what I feel like. Oh. Yeah, but with nogging, mate, it's going to be, uh, <laughs> I'm not going under. It's going to be feisty, isn't it? Right, yeah? <laughs> 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 
That's whatever cobwebs were there. Double blown out, double dipped. <laughs> That's it. it you do the yoga and the next day you're like, oh, I'm, actually, I'm fine. Yeah. Everything feeds into itself. Like, you know what I was saying before about, oh, I want to just get into self-development, all that. All it is is just eating right, doing yoga, breathing, like, just all the things that make you feel good. <laughs> Back in. <laughs> I love it! <laughs> oh, clothes wet. Oh! That oh, saved you there, mate. That's game changer. Saved your life. It all bleeds into it itself because you start, for example, you, if you started with just eating right, so you're getting a load of nutrients into you, yeah. you feel more motivated and you're more likely to do a yoga sesh. It's, but like we said last night, it's just winter, mate. It's not as appealing. <laughs> it's not as appealing to eat salad, do yoga, mate. No. You want to just. You hibernate. Yeah. And the government should recognise it. We shouldn't have to work. We shouldn't have to work during winter as much. Four day weeks. Three day oh. weeks. <sighs> Don't forget your underpants, Mia. Your undercrackers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Are you going to get them, Ed Jogs? Yeah. Wrap them in your little underpants. Wow. Don't get zoomed in yet. Nice little hedgehog mushroom. You just wrap them in your in your wrap them in your duds. Hedgehog shrooms in a pair of duds, in a swing duds. That's how we roll, isn't it? That's how we roll. That's how he's rolling, look. Right, that's the end of our trip, and it has been a beauty. Digits are freezing, and uh, and that's it. Joy D's now going to become a dad for the second time around Christmas, I think it is. So it, he's not far off. I'm training to do the uh, three peaks barefoot for calm which is a, a mental health charity. And I've set up a Just Giving page below if you want to check it out and support. It'd be much appreciated. But I've also brought out some new uh, patches and stickers. And regardless of how many I sell, I'm going to put 100 quid towards the cause. Um, so if you would like to buy a patch and sticker, not only is it going towards a good cause and promoting a good thing, it's also helping your boy out through winter and it'd be much appreciated. I'll leave the link below and you can check it out there. And also if you check out the shop, I've done there's t-shirts. Um, they've got a cool logo on the back of the foot and then the logo on the front in various different colours. If you want to get one of them, that'd also be helping me out and spreading the love. So thank you for that. Um, yeah, lockdown's over. So there'll be more camping videos coming, more adventures coming, and I hope you're all well. Uh, let's have young lad. There he is, look, foraging away, background, battery's going red. So it's all coming to an end. Knuckles. Jobs are done, thanks for watching. See you later. me by random chance. Answers on a postcard and send them right away. I'm close for business today.